Welcome to MarcyCenter.com. Uh, thanks for taking time to watch our videos. Please give us a like and a subscribe. I would appreciate it very much. Um, I've got two, three projects going on right now. Uh, but one of them was this Oshkosh MATV for my uh, Axial SCX10. Uh, it's a 3D printed body that I picked up from uh, 3D Lab Print for about 20 bucks. Uh, now I do have to tell you that uh, if you're going to do any 3D printing, uh, you know, be prepared to do a little work afterwards because you, ha you have a lot of layering lines that you need to uh, take care of. Uh, a little bit of uh, really fine sandpaper and a, you know, a couple coats of primer and it just comes out pretty smooth. Um, now you have a choice on this particular, uh, on these file, these print files that you get from, from 3D Lab Print where you can have uh, the print the hood and the trunk with the holes already there or without the holes. That's totally up to you. So. Uh, I, I chose to do the ones with the holes. Um, uh, one of the problems I had, I had a little bit of under extrusion on my printer, so uh, what it did was I went through with a little bit of uh, sandpaper, knocked it down a little bit, uh, threw a coat of primer on it, um, and then a little bit of uh, filler, and it covered it right up. But uh, uh, be prepared again, like I say, you're, if you're going to use a 3D printer, you're going to you know put a lot of extra work in it. Now this. This, the files for this were 20 bucks, and you know, believe it or not, I think that was a really good deal, and it looks like it was a, a pretty good uh, investment on my part. Well, anyway, uh, we're getting ready to take this out, maybe shoot a couple videos of it running. Um, but again, hey, thanks for watching our videos. Um, hang in there. Uh, right after this, uh, the, the assembly video will start showing and show you how I did it. Thanks.